Hi everybody, welcome to Lisa Simmons Art. Today I'm going to be working on a 10 by 10 stretched canvas and I'm going to be using primary colors, red, blue, and yellow, and also adding some white and black into this. I've decided just to do a simple flip cup. This is really great for beginners and anybody could do this. I have added some spot on treadmill lubricant to each of my colored cups here. I have not added it in the black and white. And the reason we add treadmill lubricant, it's pure silicone and it helps create cells. It is possible to get cells without using it, but when you use it, it's a sure thing. So let's get started making our cup. Instead of pouring them all in at one time, I'm gonna put them in layers. I really hesitate on using red because that's another color that can overpower, but we'll just see what happens. Actually, you can get every color of the rainbow out of these three primary colors. So you never know what you're gonna get. And that's the really cool part and the fun part about paint pouring in general. You can't plan anything. You will never get the same result twice, no matter if you use the same colors and layer them in the same way, because each time they hit the canvas in a different way. It's really cool. It's like getting a surprise gift. Usually I use my squeeze bottles for everything, but I didn't have these colors filled into it. And I'm gonna top this off with white. So I'm gonna give my cup a slight stir that stirs the paint slightly, but not mixing it too much. And also helps mix the silicone a little bit better, but I had already mixed it gently into each cup. So we just take our canvas, we put it over top of our cup, hold your cup, flip it. I like to wait a few minutes so that the paint has time to move all the way down the cup and onto the canvas. You can also poke a hole in your plastic cup, or actually even a paper cup, and that will help release the air so that the paint drops. If you poke the hole in it and you're not holding your cup, your cup's gonna start moving. Already seeing a ton of cells, seeing a lot of colors too. And I'm just putting the cup on the corners here to drain the rest of the paint out of it. That helps to bring your paint all the way over to your corners. This is so cool here. I love that, really, really cool. The cup looks amazing inside. Sometimes the cup looks better than the canvas. A cruel joke. <laughs> I see purple, orange, pink, magenta, fuchsia, a little bit of brown, some mustard colors. It's really cool all the colors that you can get from the primary colors. So I'm gonna let this sit here for a moment and see what else pops up and then I'm gonna torch it. Torching your painting will pop bubbles and it will bring up more cells that are laying beneath the paint. Okay, it's been a few minutes, so I'm gonna pick up my torch. I use a heavy-duty propane torch from a plumber's supply. You can use a butane torch. It doesn't really matter as long as you have some heat coming out of it. And you just hold your torch six to eight inches over your painting. You don't wanna to get too close because you can burn the paint or burn your canvas. <laughs> I know from experience. Okay, I had a lot more cells popping up. So now we're going to stretch this out. You have to bring the paint all over the top of the canvas and down the sides. Well, I mean, you don't have to. You could actually add paint in here if you didn't want to stretch this, but if it's too thick, it's gonna dry and crack. So you do want to stretch it up so that the paint isn't too thick on the canvas. So I'm gonna to go to this side first. I'm gonna use my hand as a dam to dam up some of the paint, and then I can stretch it back. You always wanna go back to center before you stretch it out again. Got some beautiful colors here. There's amethyst, magenta. These colors are gorgeous. So are these. So now I'm gonna go to this final corner here and gently stretch using my hand as a dam because I do not wanna lose what's there if at all possible. There's still a lot of paint on this canvas, so I'm going to go and stretch more. You just kind of tilt it the way that you want your paint to come off, that any excess paint that you don't want.
Okay, I think I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead on this one. I love all the colors that came out of the primary colors. What you wanna do is take your finger and run it along the bottom of the canvas here on the edges. You wanna get any excess paint off of here because the excess paint can actually pull the paint from the top down and it changes the look of your painting. So you wanna get as much off as possible so that that doesn't happen. Anyway, I'm actually starting to, this is starting to grow on me. The yellow is actually starting to grow on me. This will also change as it dries because the paint is still moving. You do wanna have your canvas as level as possible so you can get as little movement as you can get. Naturally, it's going to move, but you don't want it to move too much. I'm actually going to torch this again just to see if the other cells start coming up. Yeah, a few more cells did come up, but I think that's all I'm gonna get with the torch. There may be a few more that come up later on. I love the colors. I love the colors that I got. So I'd like for you to stay tuned for close-ups on this, and I'd like to thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, please subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. I post videos on Mondays, sometimes during the week if I do have time, and I'll see you next time. Bye.